This is Radio Nepal. I am Dela Prasai with the news the headlines first. Sri Krishna Janmashtami birthday of Lord Krishna being celebrated today with worship and devotion. President Ram Chandra Paudel says the festival will help maintain mutual harmony. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda and CPN UML Chairman KP Sharma only discuss contemporary political issues. India endorses memorandum of understanding to purchase 10000 megawatt electricity from Nepal in 10 years and at least 21 people died due to torrential rain and winds caused by a cyclone in southern Brazil Now the news in detail. Sri Krishna Janmashtami, the birthday of Lord Krishna is being celebrated today with devotion and veneration amidst a variety of programs. According to scriptures, Lord Sri Krishna was born in the midnight of Padra Krishnashtami day as per the lunar calendar during the Dwapar era. Lord Krishna is considered as the incarnation of Lord Vishnu, the protector of human beings from evil, injustice and devil forces he is also regarded as the proponent of the three principles of gyan yoga karma yoga and bhakti yoga sri krishna janmashtami is celebrated to cherish the good deeds of lord krishna for a happy and prosperous life Lord Krishna born to Vasudev and Devaki and held prisoner by Kangsha in Mathura guided humanity on the path of knowledge truth and immortality the legend says Lord Krishna is also known as Gopal for his dedicated service to the cows as a herder he is also known as manmohan for the melodies he used to play on his flute charming everyone devotees thronged the temples of lord krishna including the famous sri krishna temple of mangal bazar in lalitpur the renowned and artistic sri krishna temple made up of stones was built by the then king of patan city narsing malla President Ram Chandra Baudel has expressed his hope that Sri Krishna Janmashtami would help inspire the human community for good deeds by uniting a multi-ethnic, multilingual and multicultural society through religious tolerance and mutual harmony. In a message today on the occasion of Sri Krishna Janmashtami or the auspicious day of birth of Lord Krishna president Baudel has extended his best wishes for happiness peace and good health to all Nepali sisters and brothers living in the country and abroad Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda and the main opposition party CPN UML chairman KP Sharma only yesterday discussed contemporary political issues. In the meeting held yesterday at the office of the Prime Minister and Council of Ministers in Singapore, the two leaders discussed and exchanged views about the latest political situation in the country, the finalization of various bills pending in the federal parliament among others. According to Prime Minister's press advisor Gobinda Acharya, the Prime Minister's participation in the upcoming United Nations General Assembly and his visit to China, including various bills pending in the Parliament, were also discussed during the meeting. India has officially given its approval to a memorandum of understanding concerning the purchase of electricity from Nepal. Under the agreement, India has agreed to import 10,000 megawatts of electricity from Nepal in the next 10 years. Nepal's ambassador to India Dr Shankar Prasad Sharma said the Federal Council of Ministers of India formally endorsed the agreement paper on the power trade with Nepal and India Ambassador Sharma added the decision would contribute to accelerating Nepal's economic development and restructuring efforts The MOU was initially signed between the two countries during Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda's India visit on 31st of May to the 3rd of June in 2023. With the decision to to export the electricity purchased in Nepal to Indian market in easy and smooth manner has been opened, the Nepal Electricity Authority has been exporting 452 megawatt electricity in Indian energy market in a daily basis. 
Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda has held discussions with representatives of the stakeholder bodies regarding the effective management of the Kathmandu Valley's West. In the consultations held at his office in Singhadarwar yesterday, Prime Minister Dahal held discussions on management of West generated in Kathmandu Valley and its long-term solution. Issues such as management of West at Banjari Dadav Nuaku, the demands raised by the affected locals and procurement of land for the construction of dumping were discussed in the meeting. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Home Affairs Narain Gajeshwarsta has said the government has prioritized the rebuilding of flood damaged Kagbeni settlement in Mustang. During his inspection to the flood ravaged Kagbeni settlement at Varagung Mukti Chet. Troy Rural Municipality 4 in Mustang yesterday, the Deputy Prime Minister pledged to undertake the reconstruction efforts targeting the village with high priority. The settlement experienced significant damages from the flooded Kakola stream on the 13th of August. The Central Investigation Bureau of Nepal Police, CIB, has arrested one more individual in connection with a recent gold smuggling scam. Deputy Inspector General and Central Spokesperson of Nepal Police, Kubir Kadayata, confirmed the arrest of Suman Karel from Kapil Bastu. Education Minister Ashok Kumar Rai has said that the bill related to school education would be tabled in the federal parliament before Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachinda's foreign visit. Minister Rai made the remark during a meeting with the Delegation of Nepal Teachers Federation at his office in Singadarbar yesterday. The government has said there is a stock of food grain that could sustain the demand for three months. In yesterday's meeting of the Industry, Commerce, Labor and Consumer Interest Committee under the House of Representatives, Secretary at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Supply, Madhu Kumar Marasini said the government had the stock of 170,802 quintals of food grains. Secretary Marasini further said requested India was requested to open the export of 1 million metric tons of paddy, 100,000 metric tons of rice and 50 quintals of sugar. The Nepali embassy in Japan, in collaboration with the government of Japan and the local business community, has officially launched the Nepal-Japan Development Forum. Japan's pr- Minister of State for Disaster Management and Ocean Policy, Tani Koichi, and the ne- Nepali ambassador to Japan, Dr. Durga Bahadur Subedi jointly inaugurated the inaugural ceremony of the forum on the 1st of September. Japan-Nepal Parliamentary Friendship Group Chair and Ambassador Subedi serves as the honorary patron of the forum. The establishment of the forum primarily aims to facilitate Japan's cooperation in Nepal's social, economic and technical development endeavors. You're listening to Radio Nepal 8 English News Bulletin. We continue with the international updates now. Torrential rain and winds caused by a cyclone have left at least 21 people dead in southern Brazil with more flooding ex- expected. According to BBC, the governor of Rio Grande do Sul said it was the state's worst ever weather disaster. Thousands have been forced from their homes, officials said. In Mukuma town of 5,000 people, hundreds had to be rescued from their rooftops as 85% of the town was flooded, local media report. Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva said the federal government was ready to help. More than 300 mm of rain hit the state in less than 24 hours, triggering floods and landslides, officials said. Rescue workers have been using helicopters to reach areas cut off by flooding. Wagner, the Russian mercenary group, is said to be prohibited as a terrorist group by the UK government, meaning it will be illegal to be a member or support the organization. According to BBC, a draft order to be led in Parliament will allow its assets to be categorized as terrorist property and seized. UK's Home Secretary said its work in Ukraine and Africa was a threat to global security.
Suila Braverman added, Wagner's continuing destabilizing activities only continue to serve the Kremlin's political goals. Wagner had played a key role in Russia's invasion of Ukraine, as well as operating in Syria and countries in Africa, including Libya and Mali. In 2020, the U.S. said Wagner soldiers had planted landmines around the Libyan capital, Tripoli. Now the general weather forecast for the country for today. Forecasting Division 6, the weather is likely to be partly to generally cloudy throughout the country. Light to moderate rain with thunder and lightning is likely to occur at a few places of Gandaki province, Karnali province and Sudur Paschim province and at one or two places of the rest of the country. Kathmandu's weather report now maximum temperature of 29.5 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 20.5 degrees Celsius. With this news we have have come to the end of this bulletin, but before we wrap up the headlines once again. Sri Krishna Janmashtami, birthday of Lord Krishna being celebrated today with worship and devotion. President Ramchandra Baudel says the festival will help maintain mutual harmony. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda and CPN UML Chairman KP Sharma only discuss contemporary political issues. India endorses Memorandum of Understanding to purchase 10,000 megawatt electricity from Nepal in 10 years. And at least 21 people died due to torrential rain and winds caused by a cyclone in southern Brazil. Well, that's all that we have for this edition. Our next English news edition is at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.readinapal.gov.np for more news and online programs. Stay tuned, stay safe and have a good day.